and welcome back for another tasty treat. On this episode of Leah Tortilla, I will be showing you how to make caramelized onion hummus. And this is just a really quick episode, a really quick recipe, because I'm going away for the weekend and I didn't want to leave you disappointed this week. To begin this recipe, we're just going to start with the base plain hummus mixture. And to do that, you need 400 grams of chickpeas. That's one can of chickpeas in water that you just drain and pour in a bowl. To your 400 grams of chickpeas, we're going to add three cloves of garlic, quite fat ones you want. And you just want to chop them roughly. It doesn't matter how fine you chop your garlic because it's all going to get blended in the end anyway. And once you've added your chopped three cloves of garlic, we're going to add half the zest of one lemon. And then we're going to add the juice of one whole lemon. And then you're going to want to add three whole tablespoons of tahini paste. And that's sesame seed paste if you didn't know what tahini is. So three tablespoons. One, two, and then three. After you've added your three tablespoons of tahini paste, we're going to go ahead and add a large pinch of rock salt, and the same with a large pinch of cracked black pepper. Once you've seasoned your hummus base mix, we're gonna go ahead and add 80 milliliters of extra virgin olive oil. So if you're wanting just a plain hummus, this is where you'd stop and blend your chickpea mixture with a hand blender or in a food processor. And that's it, you're done. Go ahead and eat it. But you have to make sure it's completely smooth. No, no lumps, you just blend it until smooth. But now, this is where I'm going to add the flavour with the caramelised onions. So over here I have a really hot pan with just a splash of oil which I have gently spread all over the pan, coating the entire pan. And in my hands, I have two sliced white onions. And we're going to fry these onions until they're soft and they get a little bit of color on them, so they go a bit brown. And then we're gonna add some sugar. So with these onions, you basically just want to leave them to fry on their own, giving them a shake or a stir ever so often to make sure they don't burn, because you want them caramelised, not burn. You can see that our onions are starting to turn a lovely golden brown colour. And as they start to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and add another pinch of salt. Just a little bit of advice, if you don't feel confident enough to flip your onions like this, then don't be afraid just to use a trusty spoon and give them a stir. Now you can see that our onions are this gorgeous golden brown colour and they're really nice and soft. We're going to go ahead and add either 50 grams of light brown sugar, like I have here, or 50 grams of dark brown sugar. As long as it's the soft stuff, it really doesn't matter. You can see as you stir the sugar through that it begins to melt and coat the onions in its sugary goodness. And that 
the onions begin to caramelise. Look at that. Sweet deliciousness. And once you've allowed your onions to cool down slightly, we're just going to go ahead and add them to our chickpea mixture. And then we're going to go ahead and mix this in thoroughly. Now for the fun part, we're going to blend this baby till smooth. <laughs> Blending complete, and there you have it, caramelised onion hummus. It doesn't look very appetising right now, but trust me, serve this baby at a barbecue with either bread crisps, tortilla chips, or crudités. That's cut up vegetables to me and you. And there you go, you've got a vegan crowd pleaser. Or you could just have a small spoonful of it on its own. Don't forget to give this video a like, give this video a share, leave me a comment, and if you really like what I do, then subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next week for more tasty treats. So how easy was that, guys? Thank you for watching this episode of Leah Tortilla. I'll see you next week. Bye.